beautiful shot there from the Costa Rican. Welcome back, everybody. Sorry for the delay with the sound. We're at two serving two. Enjoying this live streaming. Moscoso in the green. Crossing return from Uvilla. This is his home court. Serving three. It's been a slow start to this first game. <laughs> you saw the power that it generated on that backhand. It was such a short swing. It just flicked it cross court. Kind of got away with a bad serve there. You saw how far that came off the back wall. These courts are very quick. Cement walls, humid conditions, green pen ball. I hope you can hear the power that these guys are hitting it with. It's very loud. Should be an avoidable hinder. Ooh, replay called. No argument there. A little surprised by that. serving three. This close was very powerful, but right now things are coming up off the back wall, side walls to the middle. Ubi is a, a smart player. Good serve. The 
This is their first match in a round robin format. You can see the draws on our website. Just go to internationalracquetball.com. Look for the live events link. You'll see it. We've also put it in the chat section, comment section on this feed as well. on his serve, Moscoso. Oh, good pickup. Just a bit wild right now for Moscoso. He's definitely the favorite semi-finalist in July at the World Championships. Things are coming. It's a little bit wild for him. He needs to settle down. Short serve. Good call. Villas not making many mistakes. Consequence, we're still at four, serving four. Definitely cleared the line though. Serve from Moscoso, that's better from him. Pinch winner there. Two quick points, six four. Referee Jaime Martel from Mexico. You can see him down in the front. Wow, 
in control there. That was amazing. Again. Great pickup from Moscoso. He's still in this. Villa is going to shoot this off the back wall. Oh, rally from those two. Again though, the VS playing really smart. Not trying to hit it too hard. Down the line, cross court. Moscoso right now just seems to have one pace. Change up from Villa. So, oh my goodness, I thought that, I thought that skipped, indeed it did, he walked forward, but. quite some time and we're only at six serving five. Look at that wide stance, but his right leg will come closer to his left, right there. Lots of power, he needs to keep that. It's not a bad serve, it's a short serve, but it's not a long serve. He's been punished earlier from his long serves. Again, smart pass from Mbija. Doesn't hit it too hard. So there's a good example of what some might call a screen serve. Ball came very close to him, Villa, uh, when he was serving, but it didn't impede the view of Moscoso, and, and so the referee doesn't call a screen serve, even though they could. He allows the play to continue because Moscoso had the advantage there. Humid conditions here. 6 4, and we're already cleaning the floor, so referees can request that players change their shirts. And we might see that here in a little bit. Sorry, 6 5.
apologies if the camera rattles here. We're taping it down. We've got so many people back here that even accidentally they're nudging it. So we're going to try and tape it down and cordon off the area. Make sure this stays inter interrupted. Uninterrupted. It's six servings. Can't quite see the score. It's either six seven or seven six. Seven six Moscoso. Wide base, very unusual. Short serve, that was close. That's the serve he wants to be hitting. Oh, nice hands. So he's hit that serve twice, and both times will be uh, didn't really hit a great return. So you kind of wonder, is he, is he used to hit receiving drive serves, or, or is that a serve that he's just not comfortable with? Moscoso, though, relying on his drive serve. Sorry about the Mauro in the front, he's taking it down. <laughs> just got a great shot of him. Oh, great pickup, Moscoso. Oh, it cracks on the side wall. We're still only at 7-7. Seven, seven. What a tight match this is. going the wrong way there. A little frustrated with himself. Got stuck in the corner. Wasn't sure what to do. Shot rally, that's what he wants to see. In. Moscoso is getting his first serve in. Creeping into a Villa, hitting the ball a little too high, providing Moscoso with some setups. The Villa wants a skip, but sounded good. Timeout, says the Villa.
Should be a technical. Should be a technical here for hitting the ball without his eyewear. Martel isn't looking. I mean, this is an automatic. Let's see what happens. That should be a technical. And a technical is given by the looks of it. And then he does it again. In theory, joined by Laura McCormick over in the, the next to me at the death. I mean, in theory, that should have been two technicals because he was told and then did it again. IRF rules. Not hitting hitting the ball without your string attached to your wrist. Hitting the ball without eyewear is an automatic technical, no warning. And interestingly, that includes warm-up. Warm-up as well as the match. And often during the warm-up is when players get lazy and don't bother to do things like that. And it can cost them. Here we can see it's cost Moscoso a point nine seven. Serve from Moscoso, but what about that return from Uvilla? Seven serving nine. Got him the return he wanted, and what a finish that was. And then he skips it. Again, same situation, good serve. Chance to finish it off. This time he put it in the floor. 7-10. Rubija hasn't scored for a while. Let's see if he can get on the board. Good pass from Moscoso.
reminder, we have many more matches coming up today. Next up here, Paola Longoria, Anna Gabriela Martinez, Mexico versus Guatemala. Great match to start the day. Great pickup from Moscoso. Let's finish this out. Villa. Oh, he breaks the ball. He's disappointed with that. So Longoria Martinez was the final match of the World Championship Women's Singles. Longoria won it in two. So Martinez is looking for a chance to close the gap on Longoria and maybe take a match, get some revenge. We'll see how she does coming up after this. Beautiful from Moscoso. Took some pace off it. So just a reminder that we are on mountain time. This was an 11.30 projected start. So we're already an hour and 20 minutes from that start time. We were supposed to we were supposed to start the Gabby Longoria match at 12.15. So clearly we've got a long day of racquetball ahead of us. We hope you stick with us. Just because it's long just means that we get more matches to cover, more drama. Oh, great pickup. Oh, that's unlucky for me. He worked hard for that. He's just not getting on the board. He's down 11 7 now. different. Just got to get some points here. Doesn't look like it's going to work on his forehand. Moscoso likes that Z-serve. Second and final timeout for Costa Rica. Obias down 7-12. Let's see if he can regroup after this timeout. Looks like a football. There's a good shot. Again, the timeout worked. Maria, 7 12. Oh, 
great kid. And Moscoso skips it. That's the kind of thing that gives you some momentum. Great hustle from Uvilla. Finally gets on the board. He's been on seven for a long time. Eight twelve. Shot from Uvi, you can see, went right down the middle, came right off the back wall into the back into the middle. Scoso finishes at 12, serving eight. A serve from Scoso. Uvi ran over maybe a little too quickly, just completely missed it. 13, serving eight. if you would please share our feed with others we'll be here all day many more matches coming up wow that's so difficult Took it on the short hop just as it was coming off the floor. Side wall, front wall, and rolled it out. Let's see if he can close this out. 13 8. Hey, serve. way to go. One point at a time. Looks to his coach. Oh, ace serve. Ace serve. Here it is from a 
Good pickup. Good defense from Villa. Oh, he overran it. First game. That's unlucky from him. He saw what was coming. Moscoso actually didn't hit it that well. As a consequence, Villa overran that shot. Players have two minutes to regroup. Moscoso takes the first 15-9. Here we go, game two. Just a reminder, next up here on the show court, Longoria, Mexico. Martinez, Guatemala. Then Murray, Canada versus Ugalde, Ecuador. Next up, Keller, Bolivia, Acuna, Costa Rica. Freer, this is 16 girl singles. Freer. Costa Rica, Herrera, Colombia. In 14 doubles, boys, Longoria Esparza and Guillen Sanchez. Longoria Esparza, Mexico. Guillen Sanchez, Costa Rica. Women's doubles, Longoria Salas, Salma Ortiz from Costa Rica. One I'm really looking forward to, Landa Gutierrez, Mexico, Keller Moscoso, Bolivia. And then we finish out the day with Costa Rica, men's doubles, Camacho, Fumero, and Ecuador, Ugalde, Rios. Hope you stay with us for those. Serving one. Side out called. Wea doesn't like it.
Juan Moscoso. Great pickup. I'm lucky. You can see how hard he's working representing his country, his family and friends here in San Jose, Costa Rica. Problem is, is he's getting these balls back, but he's not able to do anything positive with them. Moscoso's just pounding the ball. Eventually, Ubiya's making a mistake. Yeah, he talks to his coach about how high he's hitting it. I have to agree with you there. Well, I'm not sure what the call's going to be here. defense from Uya. Moscoso though, pure power. Nice shot from him. Five one. You can see the scoreboard to your left up on the screen. That's attached to the tablet that the referee has. We've been going 56 minutes. Starting to run away with this. Yeah, it looks like his racket has a crack, so he's switching it out. Allowed to do that without taking a timeout. If you have any questions for us, put them in the chat box. We'll do our best to answer. Thanks to those, those of you who've joined us. Here we go, six serving one. Not a mini timeout work there for Ubiya. But he's struggling. One serving six. He's got to do something different. out of position, gently tapped it into the front left corner. Miss hit from Ubiya. Moscoso punishes him. Time out, Costa Rica.
really struggling with that footfall, Moscoso. Skips the easy one. Rubia really got away with that. Again, there, look how the timeout worked. Is trying to starting to pull away with this match. Oh, sends him the wrong way. Serve wasn't good enough though. Oh, between the legs for Moscoso. Oh, on his knees. He didn't have to. Frustration from Ubuya. Again, points to his head. Moscoso, really in command of this second game, seems to have settled down. 9 1. Great serve again, gets what he wants. And look at that, can't do it any better. from his father and coach. Again, we are just really struggling to control that power from Moscoso. Takes a timeout. That's his final timeout of this game. Scores 11-1 in favor of the Bolivian. Just a reminder while you're watching, you can follow our page. Just click on the follow button. That way you get updates when we post them. Keeps you on track when we're streaming live. Also encourage people to like our page so that you can stay up to date with everything going on with international racquetball. This is the Pan American Championships. They're held every year. The outcome of these helps to decide which teams qualify for the Pan Am Games, or at least how many players they can send. Teams that perform well in these Pan Am Championships can send both singles and doubles players, whereas teams who perform less well may end up only being able to send two players who then have to play both singles and doubles. It provides a big disadvantage in that situation. 
Pan Am Games. A serve from Moscoso. Pan Am Games will be held in 2019 in Lima, Peru. Looking forward to being there. Watching racquetball at its highest level. We were in Toronto 2015 for the Pan Am Games. Oh, that should be an avoidable hinder. Oh, wow. Disagree with that call. Moscoso was in the way of his shot. Doesn't matter if he jumps. 12 serving one. You can make up your own mind at home. Doesn't put it down though. Hits the sidewall, points to the corner. He knows that's where he wants to go. He just couldn't execute. Scoso 12 1. Oh, and another skip. Ovia is frustrated. Played so well in the first game. Kept Moscoso in the backcourt. Struggling in the second game. And here we have it. Match point. 14-1. Saves the first one. Let's see if he can get some points. Just a reminder if you want to see the draws, visit our website, internationalracquetball.com. Go to events, look for live events, and you'll see a link to all the different draws across all the different divisions being played here at the Pan Am Championships. We have juniors, we have a friendship cup. So lots of matches being played starting at 9 a.m. and continuing until they're done, probably later this evening. Right now we're quite a ways behind schedule, in part due to the tiebreaker match we saw between Amaya and Sotomayor. And then a long first game here. Gerubia gets some applause. Gets his second point in this game too. Is it too little, too late though? That's the question. Oh, great pickup. Via down the line. Three points. He's motivated all of a sudden. He's got some momentum.
point number two, Moscoso. Gonna be replay. Corones from the crowd. But you know, I felt that he was clear. Should have taken that shot. He did have down the line and cross court available to him. Moscoso was close though. 514, that's a replay. Great serve. Five points in a row now. It will be a six fourteen. Skipped it, Moscoso. What's happening? Might be a good timeout. For a timeout, he elects not to. 7 14, six points in a row now. Oh, but that time would be a chunks it in the floor. Match point number three. Moscoso to finish this match. Hope you enjoyed it at home. He wins at 15-9, 15-7 over Ubia from Costa Rica. That's our second match we've streamed. We've got coming up Longoria versus Martinez, women's singles. We hope you stick around for that. That was a 75 minute match. Very long considering the scoreline. These players really struggled initially and then Moscoso settled down and took control. Late rally there by Ubiya, but too little too late for him. As a result, Moscoso wins this round robin match. He'll be playing again tomorrow in singles, but also tonight he'll be playing in doubles against Mexico and you can catch that with us. So we hope you stick around for that. 